Well, London, I'll start with the obvious one. Just what has today been like for you? Um, different than I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought I was going to be a little bit more emotional. Um, but just just knowing that we don't, it's not over, um, it, it's huge. So um, just knowing I got some more games to play with the team and with these coaching staff. And so, I mean, yeah, obviously it's a tough day for me not having, getting to play here again. Um, but I'm glad we all came out here and played well, got the win. And now I'm just going to uh, just hang out with some family that's all in town. So. One well, in your last two buckets here making this building were from assisted by freshman uh, first tie and then and then Kyle. Is that symbolic of anything of, of you two or you three kind of kind of you know passing the torch? It's kind of their backcourt. Yeah. Uh, the next game played. That's weird. Building. That's weird that you thought about it because as as Ty passed me the ball and it and I uh, and I shot it, I was like, this is this is weird. I think it's my time to go now. So, um, but yeah, it it that it's weird how stuff happens, but. Um, yeah, Ty played extremely well tonight. Kyle did too. Everybody played well, and um, I think you guys will be in good hands. Mike. London, you watch games the rest of the day because your seed can go up and down. I mean, uh, watching is not going to change the, the outcome of it. So if I get a chance, I watch it. Um, but as of right now, I don't. I, I I mean, I don't really care as too much as to who wins, who loses. Um, I don't think anybody wants to play us right now. So. How do you think this defense has come together here in the last week and a half? Um, I think the slump helped us. Um, we knew that we weren't going to make shots, so um, or we weren't making shots, so we knew that we had to be good on, de on the defensive end to even be a part of this game or even be close. So now we're hitting shots and we're still playing good defense. So um, we knew one, we know we knew that the shots were going to come, but now our defense has to be here for the rest of the season. So. London, Tony talked about walking off the tunnel or through the tunnel with his arm or around your shoulder and said he wanted to do that because that's how he went off the court with his dad on his senior day. Mm. What was that moment like for you? Yeah, it was it was cool. Um, walking off the floor um, with Coach Bennett was huge. Um, just he, he gave me this opportunity. I mean, um, Without him, I wouldn't be here. Um, I wouldn't have had the success that I've had. Um, another program wouldn't have had the success that it had without him. So, um, yeah, I mean, we've, we've gone through ups and downs. Um, we fought. We, we've, we've gone head to head, battled each other, um, and then we've had some good times too. So, um, yeah, but that it, it was a, it was a huge it was a huge part of it. For either of you that want to answer this, do you notice when? Young and artists aren't in the lineup, and and how quickly did you notice it? Uh, I say we noticed it right away because we go over the lineups right before the game, and uh, the usual lineups who we've been uh, practicing against or preparing for that wasn't the same, so we knew right away. Uh, London, uh, Tony said when you were a freshman, you, when you guys got beat at Tennessee, I think the next game was against Florida State, he, he said he kind of came to you and said, uh, I'm giving you the keys to the offense, run it. Uh -huh. uh, what was that like for you at that point in your career? And yeah. um, Well, I, I would just have to say thank you to DT for that. Um, he was a part of that Tennessee team, so without him, I, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, uh, um, yeah, it w I remember it vividly. We uh, sat down in the hotel restaurant, uh, just had a meeting right before the Florida State game, and he just kind of just just gave it, just gave me the program. I just put the program in my hands and um, had the utmost faith in me. And, and as a player, that's what hearing that from the head coach is huge. And um, I think it was, I mean, it was a good decision on his part. Um, I had to obviously work on work for it. Um, but yeah, the people around, I think I was just a good meshing point for the other people around us, all the players with Joe, Justin, Malcolm, Keel, that that whole freshman team. So um, yeah, I mean, obviously it was uh, it was a, it was a turning point for my for my career, um, and like I said, I, I would love to thank DT for that. London, uh, three game winning streak going into the ACC tournament. Where is the confidence level of the team now? Maybe just compared to ten days or two weeks ago. High, uh, it's, it's really high. I think everybody's playing extremely well. Um, 
Obviously, we switched up the lineup a little bit, but I think everybody's confidence is still high. Um, I know Mario's confidence is still high, DT, just because we were messing around with that lineup and stuff like that. Even Isaiah, I know he, he's been going through some sickness and not starting, but he's still giving his all for us. And I, I think that's a good team about uh, the good thing about our team is that we don't care who starts, um, we don't care who gets all the points, we don't care. Uh, who gets all the rebounds, stuff like that. We just want, we just want to win, um, and that's a good part of our team. London, you've made your career out of making other players better around you. How comfortable have you been in the spotlight today when all eyes were on you on senior day, but also in the role that you've had to play yeah. this year? Would you rather pass that off to somebody else? Yeah, I, I don't like to be the, the main part of things. Um, I don't like to be in the middle, um, but obviously I had to for <laughs> my senior day, and – um, obviously, uh, this team needed me to be uh, more assertive on the offensive end and be that, that guy. And um, But we, we have some special pieces around me, so it's not just me. Um, and we're going to need everybody moving forward. Uh, London, we talked about uh, Kyle and Ty today. And I think they said at your senior day announcement that it's the first four-year streak going to the tournament in three decades for Virginia. Mm -hmm. Do you think about how the state you're leaving the program in does that have at all into your mind as you're going through the season um yeah um i think it, it definitely goes to my mind just because now especially when we were having that losing streak just looking back and, and just kind of just cherishing every moment and all the stuff that we've been through and um as a program uh for the past three years and now for four um looking back at it i, I don't I, won't, I don't think i'll know for a fact how much I meant to the program until I leave and actually look back, because um, as of right now, I just seem, I just feel like a, just somebody that's just playing for a program, just playing, uh, being a regular dude. And um, but I, I, I think, I think we'll be in good hands. I think it's all only going up from here. Um, I feel like every year we, we, we climb to new heights, um, and I think we're in some good hands for next year too. So. Darius, how much did it help your confidence getting the 24 minutes today, scoring eight points, being probably more involved than you have for a while? Uh, definitely just more minutes. Uh, help, definitely helps me. Um, finally seeing the shot go in. It seems like it's been forever, but just going out there playing and doing some good things definitely helped my confidence. London, Tony told us what he said to you when he hugged you on the sidelines. What did you say to Ty when you hugged him at midcourt? Um, I said – it's is it's not yours yet. Uh, he said, <laughs> "It's not your program yet. I still got some games left to play." Um, but he's coming into his own. Um, it, it's it's cra it's good to see um, for him to to grow o over this year. The year that the only year that I have with him is huge. His confidence is through the roof right now, um, and we need it now. Um, but we're definitely gonna, y'all are definitely going to need it next year and the years to come. So. Um, yeah, but the only, I really just told him we got a couple more games left, and then I'm gonna hand you the keys as well. So um, same thing that Coach Bennett did, and um, I, I think he's ready. And it, and it was it was a good little moment with us for sure. Nah, he gotta watch it himself. <laughs>